This is Franz Xavier Winterhalter, a rare name if I can say so, a German painter and I'll show you a few of his uh, paintings. It has something special in that that all the paintings that he did were a royalty person. So basically he painted only for princes, duchess, uh, empress, emperors and stuff all around Europe. And uh, obviously he had a, uh, uh, you know, uh, easy, easy access to these people, uh, which was really the top of the hierarchy back in the days. And uh, he was a painter that was uh, pretty wealthy, pretty, pretty wealthy. Now, one of the things is that by the time he was painting, there was already photography and the photography was black and white. In my idea is that these paintings, which for most parts are full size, so just like this is like two meters tall, uh, one and a half meters wide, full size paintings, these are supposed to basically do what the photography would have done. On top of it, it's art, it's oil, it's painting, so you can also brag a little bit about it, just put it on the wall and everybody's going to admire you or my the painting. But this is just a sort of a before the color photography. And while he wasn't exactly that uh, fine into the details, he is giving more a general impression, general imagine, image of these dresses. Now the dresses itself, it's helping a lot because it's definitely perhaps uh, it, it seems that he actually was asking the persons where this, where that. Perhaps the person, the princess, will show him uh, all the uh, all the, uh, the stuff that she had, and he would say, "Okay, let's uh, try the painting with this dress." And uh, obviously, these dresses are really, really expensive back in the days, uh, the top, top, top of the line, and uh, it definitely helps with the painting. Now, there is not not a lot of detail. Uh, I, will show you, I will show you perhaps in a future video when Rembrandt is painting these clothes, dresses, he is putting tons of detail. But Winter Halter is not exactly a name I want to repeat too many times. He's not getting into the details, however, very, very good at the overall impression and also the 3D dimension. So you can tell the 3D dimension in this dress, even though it's like, not very, very refined into the detail, but you can really, really feel the 3D effect and feel that the dress is there. And that's very impressive. Now, the face also, uh, this is Maria Alexandrovna, perhaps something Russian. Uh, the face is also quite interesting maybe it's kind of a painting that I'm not a big fan because it looks a little bit uh, photoshopped <laughs> even though obviously there was no such things back in the days it looks a bit perfectionist so he did put a mole here right by the mouth it's just a little bit too um, yeah too perfect I would say so that's perhaps one of the things I uh, enjoy less the hair is interesting you can tell um, it's not hair but hair done but the overall impression is very good and again it feels that it has that 3d effect to it it's talent obviously so he was very very infamous back in the days he wasn't a poor one of the poor many poor painters uh, or impressionist and anything else around uh, he was very very uh, rich and uh, had a very good life and just imagine himself he had access everywhere to the highest royalty like who else <laughs> who else could say the same like he had a special life for sure all right let's see some more uh, paintings now, i did do a selection and usually i'll try to select the tip paintings not all the paintings are so well done but i try to select um creations that have something special and also that um, have like really just saying a few things. 
uh, this person, Elizabeth of Austria. Uh, is it me? I believe this is Sisi, right? Empress, who was later on Empress. Maybe I'm wrong. And uh, it seems that these uh, stars are actually stars perhaps with a pearl in the center and diamonds all around. And this was pretty infamous collection of, uh, um, of diamonds and back in the days. It was pretty, uh, uh, pretty expensive, obviously. But let's just look at the dress. The dress is very, very uh, particular. It's one of the few that I could find. Uh, there's another one that I'll show you in a moment, but uh, it, it, it's, it's hard to look at a point, a very specific area. If you look at a very specific area, it's hard to distinguish exactly the details, but it's really the overall effect. And perhaps that was his talent. Extreme 3D effect, extreme, extreme. Now you can see through the, uh, the this kind of... Um, I'm not sure what we would call that in English. I'm not that um, great with uh, all terminology in English, but you can tell that it's very thin and it's transparent. You can see through it and it's just there. It's very present. This is one of the things I look in paintings when I'm doing these videos. I, I try to find things that just pop, that just um, recreate something in a very special way and uh, this guy definitely had that skill I one of the things when I was looking at these paintings I was wondering how long did he take to do a painting like this again this is uh, it's almost full size so almost the painting is the full size of the person so it's a lot of painting basically He's not always getting into much detail at all. This one, I think he spent much more time perhaps uh, than usual. Look at the look at the transparency here. Very interesting. And the shades, he's just changing. See, this is more white. This is more gray. He's changing the shades and is recreating that impression, 3D impression, uh, in a spectacular spectacular way even though the detail itself it's not extremely fine but the overall effect it's absolutely mind-blowing now i was saying i was wondering how long did he take to create such painting i'm going to guess is not going to be very fast uh, and also the order is not going to be very cheap but it seems that he didn't, uh, he basically started to paint right away. No studies, prior studies or anything. Just, just put oil on the canvas and go for it. And that again, uh, that also says something about uh, his skills. Look at the hair again. Not very fine, but the overall impression, it's realistic and three-dimensional. Quite impressive, quite impressive. I don't think we know much about this person today. For sure in his country, yes, but not internationally. Now this is one of the last ones. And uh, uh, although the other ones are very impressive, this one blows my mind. Um, the face is not that impressive, but it's the overall. And unfortunately, I could not find a higher resolution of this, but I think it's just, just enough. The overall impression, look at the part, the bottom half of the painting, the overall impression, I, I feel like I could smell this dress. That perhaps if you ever went into a, a museum with old dresses, it feels like the, the old dresses had kind of weird old, old one century smell, you know. So I feel like I almost smelled the, the material of this dress is crazy. It's just crazy sort of an impressionist i would say some people say they they couldn't really classify him but it's he's painting in such way that is giving an impression a specific impression of that object less so perhaps of the faces maybe basically he was just taking these orders because these were realities but maybe he was actually practicing he it seems to me that he liked or enjoyed more painting the dresses than the persons interesting all right thanks for watching